out for another adventure today. We're out here at the back of Helensburg Station on Wilson Creek Road. I managed to, I'm with Mavericks today, I managed to park the car here just on the side of the road. And the mission for today is trying to find Corley Tunnel. Now, I was meant to do this five years ago with a, a mate, but that's how quick the years go by. We did the Opfer Tunnel back then, we did the Metropolitan Tunnel back then, we tried to find the Waterfall Tunnel, which is just the cutting. Here we go, we've got a car up here. How it's chilly really is it? <laughs> wow! You just, the car? Yeah, I locked the car, I think. I always say I locked the car, but I always forget. So this is the Illawarra line, that's heading up towards Sydney. That's Helensburg down here, yeah? Yep. Yeah, Helensburg down this way. Is this car on? Yeah. This car's on. We we're hoping to get a picture of that sign, but that car's in the way. I reckon you can still get one. Corley Road Trail. 2.4 kilometres one way, grade two. Now apparently, we've never done this before, but apparently this is the way that you get in. Don't they want you coming in here? You can't even walk in. Walk right here. <clears throat> We're going a little bit of a bush trek. See there's a lock on the gate. Which gate? On this one here? Yeah, it's going to be your standard issue railway lock. They're all around here. So from what someone told me, as soon as you see the first little creek in the distance, there's a cutting off to your right. So we've got to deviate to the right. And whether or not that takes you to the northern or southern end of the portal, I don't know. So I'll have to wait and see. Now this is a fair old walk from the boom gate down there. We came up, and it's directly up a hill, we came up a dirt track which then turned back into this tarred road here. And you have got a boom gate on the left hand side here. And they're doing soil conservation service, construction site keep out. Following protective equipment must be worn on the site. That gate's still open so they're might be trucks down in there. It looks like trucks have been going down here as well. Still yet to see that first little creek crossing. So I'm not quite sure if we are heading down the right track or not. Warmed up a little bit, it is rather chilly. Yeah, but the sun is alright. Yeah, no, once the sun hits you it's okay. Alright, we've walked on a little bit further from where that uh, soil conservation was going on and here you can see like a little bit of a causeway down the bottom there and it says to turn right into like a bit of a cutting. This is where we think we need to go and we're going to have a look down here otherwise we'll walk down a little bit further but it did say on the directions to hit the bush on your right before the creek crossing. This must have been the old railway line down here because look how deep it is. Is that Lantana or not? No. no. So the line must have gone down that way. And this is well flattened down here so people have come down here. So I am thinking at the bottom here it does say you have to navigate through mud. So you got your thongs on, don't you? Yeah. Okay. From what I remember, the southern end was gated. The northern end was opened. So it is a, it's gated and it's opened. Is there? Yeah, that might have been part of the line. You know what it does say? 
gates open. Yeah, no. You know what it does say? It says that um, that uh, Corley is now just a place on a map, but in the late 18 to early 1900s, it was a bustling little community with about 200 railway workers and their families were living here. It was like a village. And it said it was part of the Garora National Park. So I'd say wherever we around here somewhere would have been a whole community of people living. If you were to dig up some of the dirt here, you'd probably find artifacts from back in the day. It'd be interesting to know where the, where the village was. Yeah, no, it didn't give out too much information. It just said that within the Garawara Park. Oh, it's a very short tunnel. You see the end of it. Oh, you can too. Apparently, it's meant to be 381 metres, so not a huge tunnel. But this tunnel here is known as Tunnel Number Two in the Big Seven down here on in uh, on the Illawarra line. These are all abandoned. I think it said 1920 was the last. By 1920, every single one of these tunnels was out of use. Oh no! How are we going to navigate that, Mav? Look, <laughs> look at that. How are we going to get through there? That's filthy. You sure we're going to go through there? So you're going to come all this way and not go? Well, I'm thinking about, about going to the other side. How do you get to the other side? I don't know. Let me just see how... Yo! Let me see how... Um... Okay, that's not too bad. They have got... Bits of wood and a tire yeah. put, put on either side. If you're looking, there is bricks and bits of wood. Oh yeah, there is sleepers here. I'm actually walking on sleepers. I can understand now why... Oh. That's slippery, be careful Mav. I can understand now why a lot of people don't come down to Corley Tunnel. So you see they put a tie here, they put a, I don't know if that's rock or polystyrene. That would have probably would have been the best way, walk along there. But we do have a pallet here, so hang on. Let me see if this is, I don't want to step on it just in case it disintegrates. Yeah, polystyrene. Just please don't let me slip. Well, the camera's just going to go straight into the rust. There's nails here, Maverick, so be careful. Yeah. Once we're in, we're okay, and hopefully we don't need to come back out this way again. What I might do, I might pause here, wait till we actually navigate all this filthy creek and once we're in on that it's, it is dry in there so we're doing okay that's a small tunnel isn't it small tunnel entry portal mavericks is uh guiding the way for me we've taken a few pictures he's actually going to tell me where to step let's hope the other side you reckon, you reckon this other side, Mav, comes out where that little roadway went down? Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we come out where that roadway is and we make our way back up to the track. So we could have entered it there, come through. Well, I would have wanted to go up this, um, this path here. It, it's even steep here. It reminds me a little bit of the Eiffel Tunnel where it comes down. See how it's, it comes oh, down? Oh, Is it? Okay. We'll make your way in. Oh, where, did, where did you go from here? Uh, from there I went straight onto this log here. This log? This one? No, no, over the tyre. Oh, over the tyre first. Oh, you probably come down that log. I can't balance on that log. That's why you have a stick. Not for that, oh, okay. And then onto the pallet where you were standing before. Under that pallet there? Yep. Oh. Hang on, let me see now. 
Okay, now from where? Yeah, over onto the, the, this muddy part just here. This stick here? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, grab all of that. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm in business. Alright, work your way in. I have to actually show you a, um, a video inside. Oh no, that's the thing. I've, I'm carrying a camera. I'm trying to do this all. And with... then one put on the log again. What about there? Oh no, you got a brookie. Yeah, you got a brick here. Is that Lantana or not? Okay, we're in. All right. If anyone's thinking about doing Corley Tunnel, maybe gum boots or thongs. Thongs are the best. We got something from the railway here. What do you reckon that is? Oh, that would have been just for the gate. Yeah. Alright, let's get the X, uh, Ace Beam X80 GT out. Give me the phone. Yeah, just hold it for a sec. It's very bright up there. That's yours. Actually, just wipe that lens on the other side. I think I just touched it with dirty hands. This is a tunnel that you really need the DX80 in. It's nice and clean, isn't it? I think so many people have been through here before. No, I don't think so either. Concrete. It is concrete too. Keep a lookout for little holes for little bats in it. So it's leaking with water. There's a nice big crack down there, look at that. See it? Yeah. I have to get the... Um... The Orca Tunnels and Echo Locks. What was that? The Orca Tunnels and Echo Locks. No. no, this is very different than the Orca Tunnel. Nice. Did that turn off already? Oh, you're joking. Do you not charge your battery in here? Okay, we're... We're back up and running with the DT-70. Yeah, I'd say it's been painted. I, I did read also this was used as a mushroom farm up until the year 2000. Did you get a picture of these uh, graffiti here? What about these ones? Is that okay, Lola? In sight. Yeah, this would be a perfect... Perfect tunnel for the DX80. So we are in Corley Tunnel. This is number two in the seven unused tunnels down here on the Illawarra line. You've got Waterfall, which is just a cutting, which is number one. Corley Tunnel is classified as number two. Number three is the Helensburg Tunnel. Number four is the Metropolitan Tunnel. Five and six are, I think it's Lily, Lily Vale. Did I say it was Lily Vale? Yeah, Lily Vale one and Lily Vale two. And number seven is that impressive 1550 metre long Otford Tunnel. That's the grandioso out of all the ones down here. This is still pretty impressive. That one is 381. That's the DT70 in action. The long vaulted DT70. That's 16,000 lumens. Andrew did say that he wants to come down with his DX80, so this would be perfect when we come down again to bring the DX80s. It gives a good guide into a thousand lumen flashlight this time around, walking through. There's the train. To a 32,000. 
Save some of this luminage for um, for Fort Drummond. That's part of the mushroom farm here. Look, that wooden bit. You see that in a lot of the old tunnels with the mushroom farm. See something would have been hanging up there as well. Get your um your catapult out, see what it looks like throwing it down with the catapult. Mate, you could play cricket in here. I'll have to charge this back up in the car. At the moment, we're sitting on 8,000 lumens. Not much graffiti down this end. Very clean. It is very clean. Yeah! What's well, no good for photos? Your little one? Yeah, because it's too rounded, so we've got just throws that spotlight on it. Yeah, we've got this thing here and we're thinking that it's come off. Whereabouts up there? Yeah. You wanna take a picture of that up there, man? Huh? Yeah. You wanna grab a picture of that or not? Just so see where it came from. Maybe come on this side. Probably part of the mushroom farming days. What a nice clean tunnel this is. Absolutely brilliant. We've got a few more. So this is quite new. All Lives Matter. Antifa. So this is probably done within the last year or two. Considering of all that drama that happened in the States. So it's gated from both ends. Back, what I was reading, it was saying that was gated from the southern end, but not on the northern end. But both ends are gated now. So. Yeah. I'd say so. I'd say, I think we came in the right way to actually give the people a good look. You've got to get a picture of that. Look how good that looks. I know, everyone loves doing Homer. It's getting dark down there. I think this is just scaled down. And has it scaled down to 1800 lumens. <laughs> no, it's a heat uh, mechanism. Once it gets too hot, it just scales down. You need a torch? Tell me when you need a torch in that. Yeah, Hear the train? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go, get Let's go get some dinner from... The Cabbage Tree Hotel, we've got some of those Dine and Discover vouchers. Adam, Jungle Flock. Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, getting the Ace Beam. The Ace Beam, oh, not the Ace Beam, the Imlet DX80 in here one day. To 
Do what, sir? It's a tour of the Cawley Tunnel, 380 odd metres, now exiting, what portal do you think this is, northern or southern? Southern. Southern end. Back That's what it did actually say, it did say that it was very swampy at the uh, northern end. We've got mud to navigate down here too, Matt. Maybe even worse. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, okay, that's what they must have been talking about—the cutting. That could have been a platform or something. Get a few pictures of this scent. How nice does that look? If we had a really good camera. Some feathers down here. Something's had a nice feed. I think we are out of luck. I was hoping to be dry this way around, but this way looks oh, probably not as bad as the other way. There seems to be more more trees and wood on the ground here. We've even got Rio down here waiting for us. Ooh, I don't know why anyone would put seats. The, the cushions. The cushions are not good people. We're doing okay. A little bit to go. Where's your stick? Did you leave it there? I'm just hoping for a sinkhole where I just fall straight through. Oh, this this end's not too bad. Whoever has put all these logs and whatnot in, and you see on the ground here, done a fantastic job. Okay, watch the nails. Okay, we don't have long to go now. Yeah, I can understand why there's not too many videos of this place. With the amount of sediment in that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of wheelbarrows and everything up there. You sweet? Must have been a station. So, oh no, they've made a skate ramp here. Oh, the kiddies. Someone's made a skate ramp. They've got a basketball court here. Little fireplace in the corner. I've been watching a lot of scooter videos of late, and um, they use those rails. I don't know what they're called. There's a kid from the Northern Beaches. I forget what his name is. I think um, Doc's kid. Jack knows him well. He's very good at what he does. What do you think it was? It's a big concrete base. What about here, over here? Mate, you know what this looks like here? Where they park the trains. To, you know, I forget what they're called, you know, where they put those big steel irons where the trains butt up against them. Could be. What do you reckon? Corley Station back in the day? Yeah. Possibly. It's, it's very. It's got a job on the you know, straight line. Yeah, I know. That's uh, very similar 
to stand well public that you wouldn't even know that there's a, a tunnel in there. So this must have been constantly flooded. How's back in the day when it was a railway and with heavy rains they would have had a real bad time with uh, rain here. What a nice area. Very peaceful. My nan cooks her wok, whatever that is, what does it say? My nan cooks her wok, so ho, no idea that is. there's your standard issue rail lantana, it's everywhere. Plant that all around the railway lines to stop people coming in. This uh, foundation goes off a long way back. Must have been sheds here. Long way back in time. There's not a lot on Cawley Tunnel either. brilliant place. I didn't expect it to be this open up to this. We came in the other end. So it'll be interesting to see now when we head down here if it does lead us back onto the tarmac road. Maybe that's the way back. No, we, we came on the other opposite side, didn't we? Yeah, we're on this side over here. What are you going to have a look at? Up the back there. Yeah, it looks like another rail, rail circuit over there. It drops right down, doesn't it? All right, you go have a look there. We're going to make our way out down here. We'll start up again a little bit further down. We'll see exactly where this takes us out at. Hopefully this will lead us back to where the car's parked. We have just come down from where the man-made skate park is, just up the top here, and we've come across some rail lines. And it looks like they veer down into where the tunnel is, concrete on either side. The current line is just down the bottom here. And try to make our way back up to the car. So we must have come, it must be the track that we came along up the top there. We've just got to try to make our way back to there. Mavericks is down there waiting for me. Where the tracks go, they disappeared. They go down here somewhere. So the original line, see that's a deep cutting down here, look at that. Now it's to join back down there somewhere. So what do you reckon, just um, walk along the rail line, the current rail line? Yeah. Oh, you've got to come down this way? Yeah. So we parked the car and the train was on this side of us. So we're on the opposite side to where the car is. So my car should be on the opposite side of that, yeah. that rail line. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, we'll just walk the rail line and that'll take me back to the bridge where the car's yeah, parked. Yeah. Well, we can't get lost because the no. tunnel's up there. We were up... See, if, if we were to walk straight through the bush there, we'd go back up on that... Yeah, the uh, track's at the top the I'm hoping that down here takes us down to where that tarred road is. Because there have been, look, this must have been put here at some point. Some yeah. little... Lost that one. Yeah. Do not fill above. That's been there for a long, long time.
Yeah, yeah there was probably buildings up there. Concrete. Yeah. A lot of bottles, like water bottles. Yeah. The boys were drinking. How cold do you think it is? You think it's down under 10? It's chill. There's a chill in the air. Well, it still must be working here because you've got a registered trailer down here. Yeah, yeah and the gate is opened. We don't want to be one of those that make it on the news. No. Is that the bridge there? Oh, we've come on the opposite side, Mavericks. It is. That is the bridge. So we. Is, it, is that the bridge? It must be. No, we walked up a long way. The, the tunnel's 400 metres. No, no, that, that makes sense now. So the article that I read, um, but the guy said we, he, work, we walk more than 400 metres. There must be a bridge down on the right, I reckon. No, that's got to be it. That has to be it. Well, there's no station there. Where's the station? There wasn't a station. Yes, there no, not where the bridge was. No, there wasn't. There. Now, do we walk down here? Or do we walk along the rail tracks? I think we can walk down here. Anyway, it's not too far away. We'll go up to that one and we'll see if the car's there. But there was a fence there. Yeah, there was a fence up there. We might have to jump the fence. What? Oh, yeah, we can walk along down here. Oh, I don't think we can. Okay. Yeah, but we're on. I don't think we're allowed to, you know. So we've done a complete loop. Is there a fence up there? Can you see or not? Oh, there is still service road. Well, that was cool. So my advice would be, people, we have parked just on the other side of that bridge up there. There's the bridge on the other side. I would walk down that service road, walk down here, hope that this gate is open. And this is the quicker way to get into the tunnel. But if you want... Oh, the gate up there. Yeah, the gate up here. And the gate up there, yeah. But if you want to do the entire loop, then head into the Garawara. There you go, that old padlock. National Park, yeah, oh, look at that. That's a. Uh, that's what they call a lever lock. That's correct. Yeah, they're lever locks. Very old. Signal ground. You're not walking through there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you got blocks on the other side. All right, that's it. That's the tour. That's Corley's Tunnel done. The number two tunnel down here on the abandoned Illawarra line of tunnels. We are now off to get some dinner. I told you there's a gate up there. We're going to have to jump in there. No, there there's the car there. Can you see me car? Yep. Straight through the thing. Yeah, we're off to the Cabbage Tree Hotel to take advantage of Gladys's dine. Ah, it's close. You got that big black, black gate there. We'll be able to jump over there. So. Yeah, take advantage of her dine and discover vouchers and then hopefully off to Fort Drummond if it's still open. Oh yeah, I've got 50 bucks in dine and discover. <laughs> Adios. Just on the last leg of this first little adventure we've come up this little service track here. Cars parked just across the road here over this bridge. You can just see on the side of the rail bridge there, Wilson Creek Road. And we do have a gate. It's lucky Mavericks and myself are rather trim these days. I doubt very much if my main man, Ranger Stacey, Andrew Candelis, could get through there. He could try. Hang on, let me... You, you want me to pull it out or you're right to get through? Look at that. Oh, superb. Hi. Yeah, get that on the other side. You've got to spin it around towards me. You got it? Yep, you get through there. You want me to hold the gate for you? Well, that's a bit tight. Gymnastics. Right. Gymnasts. And gymnasts. And that concludes our tour. That's so where we started. We did a round trip. It's funny. It looks like we jumped on that side, yet we came around that way. So we headed up that trail. Then we turned right. Yes. Yes. Deep into the bush, but that way. How about, yeah, but we, but we jumped on the right hand side of the track. Of the old track? Up the, up the track, yeah. Yeah. Strange. And we come up that way. So, next time, if we ever do this again, I think we might do it the opposite way. Yeah. Might do it this way. 
come out the other way and then walk down that tarred road and see where it comes to. I'm interested to see, yeah. you know, how far down it goes. Well, it must be the service road here. It must come down onto the track down here somewhere. The tarred road. No, no. I mean, all the whole road. Oh, the whole road. Yeah, the whole road. See where it comes to. Where you go? Alright. Hang on, I'll have a look. Peter, we couldn't get a train coming through. We'll leave it for now anyway. Go back down to the car here and we're in business. Chili Burgers. Well, the car's still there. What road was it, Matt? Wilson Creek Road? Wilson Creek Road. Comes to a dead end. My advice would be to park there. Just walk over this bridge and get to see a train tunnel that I think very few get to see.